I was wondering, did they really say Houston? We have a problem? To answer this question, let's put the sentence back in its context. On the 13th of April 1970, the Apollo 13 mission is flying in direction of the moon having left the Earth two days before. On board, a team of three, Commander James Lovell, Command Module Pilot John Swigert, and Lunar Module Pilot Fred Hayes. And while everything is going according to plan, suddenly, disaster strikes. Oxygen tank number two explodes, resulting in Apollo 13 Commander James Lovell, allegedly contacting the Houston base on Earth with the famous words, Houston, we have a problem. But did he really say so? To answer this question, I have printed and read the 707 pages of the official Apollo 13 technical air-to-ground voice transcription available from the NASA website. The answer is to be found here on page 146. It reads, Okay, Houston. I believe we've had a problem here. This is Houston. Say again. Please, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a main B bus under vault. So, we've had, a problem, using the past tense. Not, we have, a problem, using the present tense. This is also confirmed by the audio files from the actual moment. Let's listen. Note that, while the official paper transcript adds an I believe to the statement, I'm not even sure I can even validate that one listening to the actual audio. Nevertheless, there again it is clearly a we've had a problem using the past form, not a we have a problem using the present form. So, is this small inconsistency around the real words from Apollo 13 that important? No, especially because this specific quote is, for me at least, far from being the most interesting one from the full Apollo 13 mission. Are there inspirational quotes I wish history would also have remembered and that I selected for you are? It took Fred one hour to shave. Can I get a towel? Roger. Maybe it's because I'm standing up. You're coming in better now too.